before we go on, let's make some more keyframes. I don't know what this guy is supposed to be, some kind of ogre person. What's supposed to happen here is that he lifts up this boulder and then it crushes him. Looks like I was on the wrong layer. And when he's actually holding the boulder, uh, it's gonna, gonna be on the same layer as him. I'm gonna use the onion skin just to get a get his feet right. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna be doing everything right now. Let's just get some keyframes in here. Let's stretch that body because squash and stretch is a thing. You know what, this is the part where he actually interacts with the boulder. Again, squash and stretch. Since we're getting in between the start and end, end frames, this seems like a good time to be using the onion skin. Now let's work on the timing. For some quick motions, just uh, two individual drawings in between usually works. Now I guess it's time for breakdowns. For such fast motions, there needs to be something of an inertia, a follow-through, as it's actually called. When he swings his arms up like this, they need to go super fast past the point where he's aiming. So let's squeeze a in-between frame right here, and on that note, This is a good time for another animation principle, namely smear frames. Let's see how creative we can be with the be with this. Yeah, let's have multiple arms.
Well now, this could be a bit of an interesting transition after all. seems like the way to make animation truly smooth is to break down the motion so it's nothing but sort of smooth arcs in between the poses. So how do we go from these arms, these hands, to these hands? For starters. A breakdown. Give a hint of acceleration here. And it's semi close to the oh, first frame there. Oh, and always exaggerate your poses. Animation's supposed to be better than life, am I right? I'm gonna bend him somewhat backwards, like he's just trying to stay in his initial pose. Forgot to draw his face. For the sake of this lecture, as it were, I'm not even going to focus on the last few keyframes where he actually lifts up the boulder and cr gets crushed, funny as that may be. Huh, seems like I was so focused on uh, the arms, I forgot to draw everything else. Have it. And yes, have it. Everything stretched up. Everything. I think maybe I need to have some kind of impact right when he hits the boulder. So not to mention, seems like a good case for a smear frame. Just have this uh, this blur right here. This is one way to bridge the gap between poses for your eyes as well. 